How about them Cowboys and how about them Cowboy cheerleaders? As iconic an American tradition as the actual Dallas Cowboys. I mean, I, it's true. We bring in Rick Riley now. And Rick, you've, you've always been a great investigative reporter, especially <laughs> when it comes to rolling up your sleeves with an assignment yes. like this. Now, I, I will say this, all right, before you get started. You've earned it, first of all. Second, <laughs> I know you unearthed some amazing discoveries other than that they wear white boots, right? Well, first of all, I'm going to file a union grievance because I, I hate this assignment, but I had to do it. Somebody had to do it. Yeah, you saw the cheerleaders were here at Cowboy Stadium. Now, they've, they've come with them from the Cotton Bowl through the Texas Stadium. For years, the Cowboys have had the most famous cheerleaders in the world. But what you don't know, Boom, is that for a while there, they looked a lot different than you think. here. I'm a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I'm a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I am a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I'm a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Honey, I'm a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. We are Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I am a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Wait, you didn't know that? It's true. The Dallas Cowboys used to have male cheerleaders. High school kids from 1963 through 69. Not the people in Dallas really want you to know that. My youngest, he said, oh my God, is this gonna be on television? Back then, they were known as the Cowbells and Bows. They weren't paid much of anything, but they did get free tickets on the 50 and a barbecue lunch. What is this I hear? You were a cowboy cheerleader, and you tell the look on their face, and I just look at them deadpan, and I say, yeah, sex change operation. Now, Lee Jackson is the chancellor of the University of North Texas. Do any of the students that you govern know that you were a former cowboy cheerleader? Uh, not until tonight. In 1972, Cowboys president Tex Schramm kicked the kids out and brought on the dancing girls. Hollywood met AstroTurf, and the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders were suddenly bigger than football. It's kind of a phenomenon in the NFL because the NFL didn't have this sexy, beautiful dancer on the sidelines until we introduced it. When you think about it, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders are a lot like the Dallas Cowboys. They play rough. They get injured. Usually it's hamstrings. You see our jump slit? They even get taped. We actually have a trainer that wraps everybody's ankles before the games because people come out with blisters and the feet are killing you. And like the players, they're very big in fantasy. And sometimes, Cowboys cheerleaders even win rings. I had a fan, and he gave me a diamond ring, proposed to me, and said, will you marry me? I went immediately the next day to find out how much it was worth. It was 2000 and I traded it in for my Mustang that I drove to the stadium. <laughs> Speaking of love, America's sweethearts have never been able to date Cowboys players. If we could have, we would have. Don Meredith. Mm. To die for. Oh, was he cute? Yep. To die for. We worship Don Meredith. What's the common misconception guys have about Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders? That we don't have a brain in our head. We take a test for our auditions that asks you anything from football-related lingo to world affairs. On the field, the cheerleaders make $182 a game, or about 500 grand less than Tony Romo. Let's go! So you'll forgive them a few tiny mistakes. What's the worst thing a cheerleader's ever done on the sideline that she didn't think she'd get caught doing? <sighs> Cheering for the wrong team. Look, nobody's perfect. But in Texas, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader comes pretty dang close. What are the chances the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders go back to having men? Um, are you offering? So it's a uh, kind of a special night here tonight. The 200 alumni cheerleaders are here with breast cancer survivors uh, to, uh, to uh, celebrate Cancer Awareness Month. And so we're filled with, with the Cowboys cheerleaders. And Boomer, it's just my luck though, right? I finally get assigned to a piece about Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, and I spend most of the time talking to the males. Yeah, but that's because you want to pass that test at North Texas, I know. You're our new hero, you know that? <laughs> Enjoy the you game with it. all your new friends, all right?